Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, everybody. Today's uh, I can statement is I can identify functions. That's your I can statement. So we're going to talk about fill a little fill in the blanks. Is functions can also be represented by an equation or sometimes a rule. The equation will generate an ordered pair, which we know that as a point. And we talked about taking an input that results in a certain output. And usually the graph of the equation is a set of all its ordered pairs. So you apply all those points and this often forms a line or a curve. All right, so this forms like a line or a curve. So really an example of a function is a machine. See how this X is the input and it goes through some sort of thing and then it pops out for the Y, that's an output. So Think of a function like a machine. So the x value, we use another word. We call this the independent, independent variable. And then the y value is called the dependent variable. All right, so input independent, output dependent variable, if that makes sense. So um, you can do this by simply just plugging into tables from the rules. So if you look at this, here is the equation y equals x plus 4. Okay, here's x plus 4. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in all of these inputs into this machine and plot my outputs. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to grab a calculator and right, I'm going to get my calculator. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in negative 5 plus 4. And that's negative 1. And I'm going to do negative 4 plus 4. And that's 0. And then I'm going to do negative 2 plus 4. And that's 2. And then I'm going to do 0 plus 4. And that's 4. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot this. So negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, down 1. Put a dot. No problem. Negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Stay put. Back 2. 1, 2, up 2. Put another dot. Stay put at 0, go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then I can draw a line. That's how that one works. Why don't you pause the video and try number two. So for number two, you should have gotten negative five, negative two, one, and four in your, in your range. And then you can plot these. So negative four, one, two, three, four, final number is five, one, two, three, I'm in zero, negative two, four, one, one, two, three, four, up one, and then eight, four. You don't have eight, four, but you can connect these points, and there you go. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to have you guys do, uh, go ahead and uh, pause the video, do number three um, real quick, and I'll just give you the answers in a minute. So this one should be just negative 6, negative 3, 0, 3, and 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, and then negative 2, 1, 2, down to 6, and then that. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So this one, I'm going to grab my calculator. I'm going to plug in these values. So if I grab my calculator, I'm going to do negative 3 over 2 and I'm going to times it by times it by negative 2 add 2 I get 5 and then I'm going to do negative 3 over 2 times it by 0 add 2 and I get 2. 
then I'm going to do negative 3 halves times it by 2 plus 2 and I get negative 1 and I'm going to do negative 3 halves times it by 4 plus 2 and I get negative 4 I'll put negative 4 in here All right so then when I do that I go to negative 2 1 2 up to 5 which is like up here somewhere 0 2 2 1 1 2 negative 1 4 so 3 4 1 2 3 4 and I'm going to draw my line seems pretty easy right awesome so that makes sense why don't you go ahead and, and pause the video do uh number five and number six and then i'll see you back here in just a minute so you're probably wondering what's going on with the answers for number five and six so i'm going to just give them to you so this guy's going to be four two one and negative three and then you got two one zero negative one and hopefully you used your calculator and then uh you can go ahead and plot these but they should look these all look like the same rule the linear rule let's look at 7 through 14. so this is given each function and given each function and domain find range values so given each function and domain find range values. so how does that what's that look like so basically you see they got the domain you basically just plug this in so we're going to go four minus five so I'm going to do an x, y chart. So when I plug in 4, I take away 5. So when I plug in 4, I take away 5, I get negative 1. Then I'm going to do uh, 6 minus 5. When I do 6 minus 5, I get 1. So I'm going to do a 6 and a 1. And then I'm going to do 8 minus 5, which gives me 3. So if I plug in 8, I get an output of Three. So my range, my range will be negative one, one, and three. That's easy enough, right? Why don't you pause the video, do number eight, and uh, I'll see you back here in a minute. If you did number eight correctly, your range should be negative two, one, four, and thirteen. I'll go ahead and do number nine. Number nine, I'm gonna make my x and my y over here. I'm going to do negative 2, 3, and 5. So I do 4 minus a minus 2. I do 4 minus a minus 2. That's 4 plus 2. So that gives me 6. And then I'm going to do 4 minus 3. 4 take away 3, I believe, is 1. And I'm going to do 4 take away 5. 4 take away 5, I believe, is negative 1. So my range here is 6, 1, and negative 1. Okay, you could rewrite it as negative 1, 1, and 6, but it doesn't make a difference. Uh, 10, why don't you, I'm going to have you pause the video and do number 10, and I'll give you the range in just a second. Number 10, your range is uh, negative 4, 2, and 5. That's not the order in which it receives, but um, it might be. All right, let's take a look at number 11. Number 11 uh you kind of do the same exact thing here's my x here's my y so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my calculator because it's got fractions so i'm going to do seven minus one over two times negative four it gives me nine so if i plug in negative four i get an output of nine right then i'm going to do seven minus one half times it by zero and I get seven so when I plug in zero I get seven as an output all right and then I'm going to plug in six all right so when you seven minus one half and one times it by six and I get four so my range for this guy is and I can write it in sequential order so nine so four, seven, nine. Okay, so that pretty much makes sense there. Why don't you try number 12, 13, and 14, and uh, I'll see you back here in a minute. 12, 
12. If you did that one right, you got 7, 13, and 17. 13, if you did that one right, we got negative 13, 11, and 19. And then 14, if you did that one right, you got negative 7, negative 6, and negative 2. Okay? So that's pretty much how it works. Um, I can't wait to see you guys in class tomorrow. And uh, may the force be with you.